Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the how to give indexes for the arrays. Or otherwise, if you have an embedded documents, how we can give the indexes for this one. Up to now, we have seen how to give the indexes for a single field that is nothing but which is having a name like that we have given. If you have an array of items, so how this indexes will try to give it. So let's try to see. Here I am having db.context so i will be having one collection db.context i am creating this one insert one and in this one i let's say that i am having name of type lila and let's say that i will be having an hobbies so which is of type sports and i can have another one is cooking so whatever maybe this is normal area of string data we are having let's try to have a multi uh, embedded thing also addresses and this is also an array it will contain an object and name is equal to street one i can have it and another one is so let's try to have another object name is equal to street two okay street two let's try to create it so it has been created if i try to show this one db dot contacts dot find one now this is our single one single uh, document which is having name Leela and also another one we are having hobbies which is of type array having sports and cooking and we are having another one is an address addresses is nothing but an object I am having only one key value pair so not like an array of these things so array of objects we are having now <clears throat> now my query is db dot contacts dot find where hobbies is equal to sports so it will it, it knows that there is an array it will try to search for that one which is having a, at least one element sports now if you try to see this one this one now if i try to explain if i do explain for this one explain dot execution stats execution stats for this one what is the type of scanning it will try to do that is nothing but collection scan so we don't have any indexes created so it is doing a collection scan now let's try to apply db.contacts dot create index create index of hobbies one so we can create an index for the array items also it's not it is not a problem it will create so if i try to see this one now it this time it is doing an index scan you need to remember that here you will be able to see is multi key true so here is multi key true means it is an array of items so for example let's say that db dot contacts dot find of name leela let's try to see it. so we are able to get this one so this is this one is a string data right explain i will try to do the explain of execution stats let's try to see if i try to see the thing and here if i try to go it is doing a collection scan so now we don't have any index let's try to apply index for this one db dot contacts dot create index sorry create index of name one let's try to see now so same thing if i try to see so this time it will be doing an index scan okay where is that index scan yeah this is an index scan and here if you try to see is multi key is false so what is the meaning of this multi key previously when we are trying to do with the hobbies thing we got it as a true okay so where is the true thing hobbies yeah this one we got this one is hobbies is also having an index but this time we got is multi key true okay multi key paths so that means you need to understand that whenever you are creating an index for a string data or number data these things so for each document or for each key value it will maintain a one index one for example name leela means for one document it will create one index so how many documents are the total number of documents are there for example there are 100 documents are there means it will create 100 index for this documents whereas if you are creating an index for an array so for example let's say that uh, you are having 100 documents and each document is having el array elements two elements okay this time what it will try to do is it will not create an 100 index for this one as the documents are 100 it will not create 100 in indexes for that one it will create each array is having two elements it will create two into 100 that is 200 indexes so that means if you are having an average of five five elements in an each array you are having 100 documents means 
500 indexes will be created so that is the meaning so when you are trying to create an index for an array element so you keep you keep remember in your mind that how many elements are there those many times into the documents the indexes will be created so this is the thing you need to create you need to keep it in mind so this one while inserting and all those things so it will create it will take so much of time for inserting the data like this why because we need to update the indexes also right because of that reason so we can apply this is called as a multi-key index okay these are called as a multi-key index now let's go into this one i will try to show you another scenario also db dot uh, sorry contacts dot hobbies hobbies dot find so let's try to uh, sorry not find hobbies dot why i am doing hobbies dot find find i want to get an addresses so i want to keep addresses so which is having a name of street one i don't know whether it has given so <clears throat> street one so let's try to see it like this okay address not address right addresses so it should be something like street one now we got the data something like addresses which is having a street one now i want to apply an index for these addresses so but here we are having an embedded documents so what i can do here so db dot contacts dot db dot contacts dot create index sorry create index now i want to uh, addresses so i am creating an index whether it will be created yes it will be created nothing no not a problem now if i try to see this one explain okay so now it will try to do the index scan okay and if you see here it will be also multi-key it will be a true only multi-key is a true why because those are an array of documents now we are having index scan fine now i will try to change this one in a such a way that i want to find address dot name so i am checking with an address dot name sorry address dot name oh sorry address dot name and here you'll be having address dot name now this time i want to check with a street one now what will happen so will it do the index scan or not so obviously it has to do the index scan right so but here it will do the collection scan so what it is happening so now you have written you have created an index in a such a way that <clears throat> you have created index for whole addresses so in that addresses you can have an element something like name uh, you can have age uh, gender like this you can have so many elements in that addresses thing so you have created an index for whole address a object but here you are checking the with only the address dot name so with only one element you are trying to check so in this type of scenarios what you can do is you can create an index create index so here you need to create addresses dot name so for the single element so this is very efficient instead of creating addresses whole object creating the which element you are trying to query that one in the embedded document you can create it so if you try to see the same thing explain now this time it will do the index scan okay this time it does the index scan so this is the thing you need to understand it and another one what i want to do is so you understood about this one then what i can do so here i can i do the compound indexing so that means combining the two indexes can i do it combining the two indexes that is nothing but array and then an, uh, array of document and with an array of document it is not possible why because i already told you right if you are having elements uh five elements average in a document on 100 of documents it needs to create 500 indexes and if you are having another array and in this one you are having a element five means so it needs to use all the combinations so one element with the one one element with the two one element with the second element one element with the third element like this it needs to create the combination of the indexes so this takes so much of memory so because of that reason making a compound index with the array of element with the array of keys is not possible for example let's say that db dot contacts dot find sorry create index create index and if i try to do uh, compound index with hobbies i am combining with hobbies and with addresses so addresses of one so if it is possible so it will not be possible why because you cannot index the parallel arrays address and hobbies so these two are arrays and you cannot index this with the compound index uh, but we can do with a combination of a not an array with a single field index and like this so it is possible so you can do with a single field index with a array but you cannot do the two component two, two arrays so this is how we this is how actually indexes works so if you try to do like this also addresses dot name 
okay if you try to do like this also it will not work so it will it will throw you an error why because we cannot do it that one addresses is an array thing you cannot do with the array if you want to do something like name you can use it so if i want to use the single field index this one so this is possible so these are the different types of uh, uh, multi key indexes which is possible which are not possible so this is how we will be creating the indexes for the multi key indexes for the array of elements so whenever you want to create array of elements means you can directly create it but you need to remember the performance thing while creating an indexes for the embedded documents addresses directly don't create the index for the addresses instead of that one the element which you are trying to query that one you can do the address dot name like that you can do it and also the compound indexes for the two parallel arrays is not possible so you can have a single field index with a compound index but parallel arrays combination compound index is not possible so this is all about the index multi key index bounds and also how to create a multi key indexes hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you